Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the East Colonial Drive Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Anthony Miller, and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve drainage and enhance safety in this segment of State Road 50. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. Comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 437131-1 and www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447593-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to chuck at valerin-group.com to report it. You may also call GoToWebinar support at 1-833-851-8340. Staff will do their best to assist you. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. Both projects are located in Orlando along East Colonial Drive, also known as State Road 50. The project area begins near Irvington Avenue and continues to and includes the intersection at McGuire Boulevard. Work will also be done along Lakewood Drive and McGuire Boulevard, south of East Colonial Drive. There are two Financial Project Identification Numbers, or FPIDs, for these projects, 437131-1 and 447593-1. 
In addition to these two projects, the FDOT would like to inform the public of other improvement projects happening near the East Colonial Drive improvements projects. Three intersections along East Colonial Drive at Highland Avenue, North Fern Creek Avenue, and Primrose Drive will receive intersection safety enhancements, including new traffic signals and pedestrian safety improvements. As FDOT works to take all steps possible to achieve our goal of zero fatalities and serious injury on state roadways, we have identified certain corridors as candidates for additional safety enhancements. After completing a storm sewer analysis in 2015, this section of East Colonial Drive was identified as having periodic flooding, especially during periods of heavy rainfall due to an inadequate existing drainage system. In addition, the intersection of East Colonial Drive and McGuire Boulevard was identified as a candidate for crash reduction countermeasures, as well as pedestrian safety improvements, including connecting established pedestrian trails. In an effort to address these issues in the most efficient way possible, two projects have been proposed with overlapping work schedules. Tonight, we will review the recommended drainage improvements and other proposed safety enhancements planned for these two projects. First, let's discuss the project that aims to improve drainage, FPID number 437131-1 proposes adding trench drains to parts of East Colonial Drive, State Road 50, between Irvington Avenue and McGuire Boulevard. The project also includes installing underground pipes along the west sides of Lakewood Drive and McGuire Boulevard to increase drainage capacity. Because this project will require digging trenches, the reconstruction and replacement of concrete pavement, driveways, curb ramps, and sidewalk is also planned. In order to accomplish these goals, while maintaining the access to the roadway and businesses in the area, the department plans to work on this project in phases. During construction, both daytime and nighttime activities are anticipated, and periodic lane closures will be required on East Colonial Drive, McGuire Boulevard, Lakewood Drive, and Fairgreen Street to provide room for construction vehicles. In addition, temporary traffic detours will be required to construct storm sewer pipes on Lakewood Drive and McGuire Boulevard. Pedestrian detours will be provided when sidewalk closures are necessary, and property access will be provided during inactive work periods. The other project at this intersection is FPID number 447593-1. Proposed improvements at East Colonial Drive and McGuire Boulevard include adding a 12-foot wide pedestrian trail to connect the Lake Underhill Trail and the Katy Way Trail constructing new mast arm signals, resurfacing the roadway, and other intersection lighting enhancements. In addition, sidewalks and curb ramps will be constructed to meet all current Americans with Disabilities Act ADA standards. As many people know, Orlando is home to many beautiful parks and trails. One of the goals of this project's pedestrian trail connection is to join the existing trail that loops around Lake Underhill, linking multiple parks within the city with the 7.2-mile paved corridor known as Katy Way Trail. Katy Way Trail, in turn, links Orlando to Winter Park and eventually connects with the Cross Seminole Trail in Seminole County. FDOT is coordinating all these efforts with affected businesses near the project areas, along with multiple local officials and agencies including Orange County, the City of Orlando, Lynx, and the Orlando Utilities Commission. Moving forward, the design on this project is in progress with a combined estimated cost of $1.9 million. Right-of-way for 447593-1 is funded for late 2023 at an estimated cost of $1.2 million. Construction for both projects is anticipated to begin in summer 2026 at a combined estimated cost of $3.5 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. 
All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by April 10, 2023, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members, to ask questions, and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or a question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 437131-1 and www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447593-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at anthony.miller at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943. 5530 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 437131-1 or 447593-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, April 10, 2023. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, Project documents and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites. Have a good evening.